What is the difference between a library and a framework? First, let's see what is a library. A library is a collection of pre-written code that helps you perform specific tasks. It provides tools and functions that you can use whenever you need them and you can integrate them into your project however you want. This means you don't have restrictions on how or when you use a library. Imagine a book library. You walk into the library and you are free to pick any book you like and use it for your own purpose. You have the flexibility to choose what you need without following any specific rules. Similarly, with a library in programming, you have the freedom to use the code as you see fit without having to follow a particular structure or folder. For example, React is a front-end library used to create beautiful user interfaces. Let's imagine you have a project and it's just an empty layout. With React, you can easily build user interfaces for your web pages without needing to start from scratch. The beauty of a library like React is that it gives you the flexibility to decide how you want to structure and use your components. You are in control. Now let's talk about the framework. A framework provides a structure and a foundation of your application and defines the flow of the code. This means you need to write your code according to the structure the framework provides and you must follow its rules. You are not just fully in control of the flow the framework is. Think of it like a framework in a book library. Here a library has a rule. For example, there is a rule that says a book can't have fewer than 200 pages or another rule might be that the book must be organized in alphabetical order by author. These rules restrict the way you interact with the library. Similarly, in programming with a framework, you must follow the rules and conventions. You don't have the same flexibility as a library because the framework dictates how things should be done. For example, Angular is a popular framework for building web applications. Let's say you are working on a project in Angular. With Angular, you have to follow its conventions for things like setting up components, services, routing, and data handling. The framework already has an opinion on how things should be done and you have to fit your code into that structure. In Angular, you don't just build your components however you like. You need to follow the Angular way of doing things like using decorators, organizing components and structuring the application.